This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship and Normal Prize for our first episode of Homeworld 2 Remastered. Okay, so if you guys remember last week or the week before that, I don't think I actually uploaded anything last week, but... <laughs> Uh, the last time we were playing our campaigns, we just beat Homeworld Cataclysm. We defeated the Beast. We became Beast Slayers. It was freaking amazing. I'm actually so happy I finally beat that game. Because that was the first time I beat it on normal difficulty, which sounds crazy. But that last mission is actually pretty difficult if you don't know what you're doing. But anyways, um, let's get into the Homeworld 2 campaign. So this Homeworld 2, I believe, takes place maybe 100 years after the events of Homeworld 1. Um, and according to Homeworld 2, Homeworld Cataclysm is not canon. To me, it is canon, because I love that game, and I love the story to that game. But pretty much, um, uh, this campaign is all about how the end time has begun, uh, because there was three hyperspace cores, and the third one was discovered. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say. So let's go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> I think I started on Mission 9. That's weird, uh, but we are gonna go ahead and just restart the camp, uh, start the campaign all the way over at mission one. I think it's because I played for a while and then there was like some sort of update and I kind of forgot what mission I was on and I had like a, a save on mission nine, but that that's an offline save. You guys don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and start the mission or start the game. In the first time, the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel, and the Outer Rim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. Four thousand years passed before the second core was discovered on a desert planet. Pain and bloodshed flowed in its wake, but the exiles returned to their homeworld, Higara. A young woman led them across the galaxy, and it is she who will lead them again. Her name is Karen Sajet. This is the story of the end time. We know this because the third core has been found. Under the dark influence of this core, the Taidan have risen under a new leader, a Vega warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sedrukar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon Higara. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Figara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. Containment unit online. All power signatures in the green. Primary couplings released. 
Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. It's away! Heading to the new mothership. Hello there, resource collectors. You're gonna guide it in? So yeah, Homeworld 2 is not my favorite campaign out of all of them. And I've done this some... This control. Whoops. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with transfer. It's also been a while since I've done the campaign. So I kind of forget what the lines are. God dang it! Stop talking when I'm talking! It does look really good in in uh, HD. <laughs> Looks a lot better than Homo Cataclysm, right? The mothership recognizes the core and confirms signal lock. She's all yours, Fleet Command. Fleet Command Online. Mothership Status Report. Ah, yes, look at that beautiful green Engineer monstrosity. Online. Stand by to initiate engine sequence. Main engines. Online. Engine test complete. All standard drives are operational. Engine test complete. Indeed. Navigation online. The mothership is standing by. And there's our little resource collector. Of course, delete. Yay! So yeah, as I was saying, Homeworld 2 isn't my favorite campaign. It's a good this campaign. Intelligence. God dang it. Our task is to analyze sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before launching the mothership, we must conduct a series of trials to ensure all critical systems are operational. Sounds good. Throughout these trials, the mothership will be running with a minimal crew and will remain docked with Tannis. Once these trials are complete, we will launch the mothership and test the hyperspace core. The first trial will test the resourcing system. A resource collector is standing by. Begin retrieval of resource containers at this location. Sounds like a plan. Ready. So yeah, as I was saying for the third time, um, Ready. Homeworld 2 is isn't in. my favorite um, Homeworld game. One, the storytelling commentary isn't quite as good as Homeworld 1, or especially Homeworld Cataclysm. I, I don't know, they just feels like they didn't put enough effort in the voices and it could be because this game was rushed uh, the original concept of this game was amazing and they just didn't have enough time to fully implement what they wanted to do it's a sad reality systems fully operational and sucks but Trials that's the way it is yay we can harvest resources and process the them ships production capabilities begin construction of a fighter facility subsystem now, I also know in Homeworld 2, one of the cool things about it was um, it was the second Homeworld game to implement module systems. Production but how underway. the module systems work have always kind of... Like, recently they kind of confused me after playing the original Homeworld games. Because how the mothership actually builds things is using its phase assimilator array, which is like a special beam that will take atoms and convert them into materials that you need to build things, like steel plates or um, computers or whatever so to build things on the exterior of the mothership without any type of assistance would probably not be possible so I know like I said they kind of rushed the game and they were implementing new technology and so they couldn't really like make this correct towards lore Plus, some... oh, I'll talk complete. later. Fighter facility subsystem complete. Engineering Yay. is online and ready for fighter production. To test basic combat capabilities, construct an interceptor squadron. As you wish. Production underway. And another thing um, that really kind of ticked me off was the fact, well, not really ticked me off, but kind of disappointed me, was harvesters had a phase assimilator array 
um, which does the exact opposite of phase no phase disassembler array, which is the opposite of phase assembler array. A disassembler array will, will take like an asteroid or dust cloud or whatnot, and I'll break it down to its most basic molecules, throw it in storage, and then dock it in the mothership. That's what your RUs actually are. They're just tons and tons of basic molecules that can be transformed into any type of uh, thing. Squadron complete. So yeah, I'll try not to. Stand by to begin combat trials. I'll try not to gripe too much about it, but I kind of want to get that off Currently my chest. Station Chimera will assist by providing target drones. Target drones. The drones are located here. Use the interceptors to destroy the target drones. As you wish. All right, interceptor squadron. Strike group, prepare for assault. Let's go kill these target drones. So yeah, compared to Homeworld 1 and Homeworld Cataclysm, Homeworld 2 is kind of inferior to it. <laughs> Die, target drones! It's still a fun game though, don't get me wrong, but compared to the older Homeworld games, it's not quite as good. Let's go, let's go, let's kill these target drones! Target drones even look like. Oh, modified probes. Nice. I have also beaten Homeworld 2 a couple times. I haven't beat the remastered version, but it's the same game, so. Attention, Tannis Control. This is Perimeter Station Chimera. We have multiple unidentified units detected. What? Uh oh. Indicates bigger bomber strike force. Oh boy, here come the bigger bombers. Doing their communications. Like if they're Tyrannic Raiders. This is a scramble alert. All pilots to their stations. Go, go, go! We're under attack! Chimera Base. This is Blue Leader. Enemy units locked in. Awaiting orders. Don't leave without us! Tannis is under attack. All forces to combat alert. This is not a test. Interceptors have been launched from Chimera. The enemy must be eliminated. Order all interceptors to destroy the Vega bombers. No problem. Production underway. Get a couple more interceptors going. Underway. Let's also put them in aggressive. Show no mercy. Here, I want one. There we go. Let's put you in aggressively evasive. There we go. You can use your speed to your advantage. Confirmed. Interceptor squadron complete. Okay. You guys, that, that, this one. Kill him. Prepare for assault. Kill the bombers. There we go. Reports victory. Strike group coordinates locked in. Pursuing target. Chimera station is offline. Oh no! The beggar have breached the Tannis perimeter. The mothership is under attack. Oh no, not the mothership. We cannot stay here any longer. Emergency launch underway. Get the mothership out of here. Roger that, Tannis. Prepare the mothership. She must live. I always wondered what happened to the original mothership. I think in this one we retired the original mothership and then rebuilt this one. Mothership is standing by. The mothership has cleared Tannis. We are away. We are away. 
once again. Multiple enemy reinforcements detected. Estimated time before contact, two minutes. Begin construction of attack bombers immediately. Bombers will be required to defend the mothership. As you wish. Let's see. I'm gonna build out two of them. Okay. Group one reinforced. Nice. There's nice. Left out here. Strike group coordinates locked in. Got all of our resources harvested. Good, good. Another thing that I hate about this game is the fact that it automatically, once you beat the mission, it automatically ends the mission and harvests all the resources and takes you to the next mission. I absolutely hate that because I'm the type, I'm a tactician. I, I like to spend my time organizing my fleet, make sure I have what I need for the next mission, and when it just rushes like that, it, it's very annoying. I understand like some missions have to do that, like Mission 7 on Homeworld 1 where you're fighting the Kadesh for the first time. I completely understand the whole reason why they did that, uh, because you you met something that you don't know, you, you can't track the fighters because they're too quick and they keep destroying your units, they're like, okay, we can't handle these, let's get the heck out of here, and then the hyperspace module fails and then you're like, what do we do now? <laughs> So it creates a little bit of panic. And this first mission I understand as well, because the Vega are on their way. And um, we are trying to get the heck out of here because the mothership is not ready for a full on assault against the Vega. Strike group coordinates locked in. Group two reinforced. All right, bombers. Two copies. Go aggressive. And we'll get you normal movement. Set to full power. Priority alert. Enemy the Vader are using hyperspace gates. Destroy it then. If they are not destroyed, the enemy will deploy reinforcements. These gates must be destroyed. That was weird. <laughs> uh, okay, so interceptors. I want you to focus on these fighters coming in. Once they. There they go. Bombers, you focus on the hyperspace gate. Okay, and we're just gonna save the rest of our money. Again, use your speed to your advantage. Bombers, you focus on damage. I want you to kill these things pretty quickly. Group one reporting. You guys keep killing the interceptors. Keep doing your job as a dogfighter. Gate destroyed. Destroy all the remaining hyperspace gates. No problem. Or I should say, we'll do. I also can't wait to build these in Space Engineers. This one will actually probably not be that difficult. But yeah, if you guys don't know, I have a series going on where I'm building homeworld ships and space engineers and trying to make them as realistic as possible. It So far it's going pretty well. Um, by the time this is up, I'm hoping to get at least most of the very first ship done, which would be the Kushan Scout. Group two. Group one standing by. But yeah, I can't wait to get like all the ships in and get like the mothership implemented. It's the Tyran Tannis is gonna be fun to impl implement. It's going to be interesting. That's all I'm going to say. It's, it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to the project. It's not going to be done anytime soon. But yeah, it'll be fun. Here we go. Long range sensors have detected multiple enemy signals converging on Tannis. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. Everyone into the mothership now. We need to get the heck out of here. Yeah, they're here with their destroyer class and their frigate class ships and battlecruiser class ships. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive. Get the mothership out of here. <laughs> Trinity cannon going off on the battlecruiser. Indeed. Well, we beat the first mission. 
So that's saying something. Tannis base has been destroyed. The Vega have launched a massive invasion. The Garan outposts are falling all across the inner rim. The crew of the mothership is making an emergency departure, and planetary defense systems are standing by. Before we can mount a counterattack, we must rendezvous with the mothership's crew. We will exit hyperspace in the shadow of the Angel Moon. A rally point has been established at this location. Prepare for enemy contact. Oh my. Okay. Well, now we need to rescue these transports. So the mothership actually has a crew the that it can on use. Its way. We're going to make it. Bishop 1 to all transports. Report status. Bishop 2, standing by. This is Bishop 3. We've taken some hits. Two bulkheads down. We'll be alright. Bishop 4, standing by. Bishop 5, standing by. Bishop 6, reporting unidentified contacts. Get ready for company. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. More enemy contacts. <laughs> There's the angel moon, and it's very, very pretty. I love it. Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to end the episode here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please please leave a like if you do. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And, yeah, I'll check you guys out in the next video. Um, but until then, this is Captain Soban signing out. Attention fleet, Makan has found Valcora Gate. The coordinates are 11344890. or zero. We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the main battle.